welcome. Today we're going to be making some Appalachian apple walnut cake. And this is a recipe I got from a book written by Mark Son, Appalachian Home Cooking. And some good recipes in here. I've modified it a little bit, but I think you're going to find this is a great apple cake that you can use year round. Now it being apple season, I just went down to my local orchard, got me some 20 ounce heirloom bacon apples. That's what I'm going to be using for this recipe. But it being the holidays with uh, Thanksgiving coming up with Christmas, uh, this is just a great cake uh, for those type of holidays or really for year round. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then after that, you just want to go ahead and grease and flour your uh, bacon dish. And I always use a cast iron skillet. You can use just a bacon dish to make this, but I usually go ahead and, and just grease it. Whatever type of oil or greaser you prefer, go ahead and grease it. And then I just go ahead and flour it. I usually use one of these little things just to go ahead and flour it. So go ahead and flour that. And then once you do that, just go ahead and put your skillet to the side. The next step is taking two large apples. You want to peel it, you want to core it, then you want to slice it up. And so that's what I did with these two apples. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them also to the side. So after you have your oven preheating and you got your skillet ready and you got your apples ready, the next thing is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cream our butter and sugar together. And so you want to start with two sticks of butter, half a cup of butter. You want to make sure that they're room temperature and room temperature is about 65 degrees. So you put them in a big bowl and what I usually start is I'll just kind of mix them together just a little bit at first. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my sugar and we're going to cream them together. So what I do about every, uh, every so often, I'm going to use a rubber spatula and I'm just going to go ahead and scrape the sides down. And then we're just going to beat it a little bit more. You may notice my mixture is a little bit darker. The reason being is I always use raw, unprocessed sugar. Now, if you're using white sugar, it's going to be a little bit whiter than this. But the whole point of this is that you want to mix it together until the grains of the sugar are reduced. So you just want to mix it a little bit more. And you want to go ahead and cream it for about two minutes. Now after you've creamed your butter and sugar together, you want to go ahead and add three eggs. And we're going to beat them in also. So after you have the eggs added in, you want to take about a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and you just want to add that in also. So that's it for the wet ingredients. So now we're going to prepare the dry ingredients. So you want to start with two and a half cups of all purpose flour. You want to take a teaspoon of bacon powder. So we're going to add that on top. Next, we're going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're just going to sift that together. So after we sifted that together, we're going to go ahead and add this to our batter. And we're going to find it's going to be thick when we add it. 
So we're just going to slowly start adding in our dry ingredients and then we're just going to mix that together. Now you're going to find it's going to be kind of thick and crumbly. So after you've mixed the dry and wet ingredients, you're just going to go ahead and get your walnuts and your apples and we're just going to fold them in. So once you have your walnuts and your apples added in, it's going to, you're going to find it's going to be a really, really thick mix. But I still like to just take a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, I get pure cinnamon here. Add the, just a little bit in. So after we have the batter and the apples and the walnuts mixed together, we're just going to go ahead and get our cast iron skillet and we're going to put the mixture into the skillet. Now after we have our mixture in the skillet, you just want to spread it around just a little bit. And we're going to put that in the oven for about 45 minutes. So we'll see you in about 45 minutes. So our Appalachian apple walnut cake has been baking for about 45 minutes. So let's bring it over and we'll see if it's done. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it looks delicious. It smells delicious. It's got a nice brown color to it. So we're going to put it down here. I got a toothpick. And just to make sure it's done, we're just going to stick a toothpick in the middle, make sure it comes back clean. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So we're going to let it cool here for about half an hour, and then we're going to try a bite. So our cake's been cooling now for about half an hour, so let's go ahead and try a taste. She didn't come out real smooth just because she's still too hot. Well, she came out crumbly because I didn't let her cool long enough, but that's what happens when you get impatient to try something. So let me go ahead and just take a bite. Hmm. And that's really good. Um, Appalachian apple walnut cake. And again, let it cool a little longer than I did because if you let it cool longer, she's not going to fall apart like I did. But, you know, I'm impatient. I want to try a bite. So, hey, it's a good recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time.